In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, solve a trig equation by factorizing. So I've taken an example. The example is solve 2 sine squared x plus sine x is equal to 0. And we want all the solutions between 0 to 360. So first I'll show you how to do it algebraically. Then uh, we can check the answer on the calculator. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we look at this is, when you look at this, well, I want to do a substitution. So I'm going to say let the sine of x or sine x is equal to m. I'm going to change this into an algebraic expression. So sine squared x, when you say sine squared x, you should understand this is nothing but that is same as sine x the whole squared. If you put this in bracket, that's what the sine squared x means sine x the whole squared. So this changes to 2m squared plus m is equal to 0. So now this is a simple quadratic equation. So what can you factor out here? m. So if you factor out an m, you have 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. So now it's a quadratic equation and that is equal to 0. That is set equal to 0. So I can say m is 0 or 2m plus 1 is 0. Simple quadratic equation. So now you have to come back to your reality that sine x is equal to 0. So we'll say you can sine x is equal to 0. So let us draw the sine, sine graph always good to draw a sine graph okay and see what it means uh, it's not the answer we can do this on a calculator and the calculator will give you the answer but you don't learn until you graph it so this is a sine curve so so this is your maximum maximum this is your minimum and this is your baseline so baseline is your x-axis, this is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. This is your origin. So it has an amplitude of 1 and negative 1. So let's draw the sine curve. So this is starts at 0, 0. So let me divide this into four group, four parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's say this is 360. I'll write 360, 180, and so on later. So, so this is 0, 0, maximum baseline 0, minimum negative 1, and comes back to, so let us draw the, let us use a different color. So the sine curve, the sine graph looks like this. Okay, so yeah, this is 90 degree, this is 180, this is 270, and this is 360. So the question is, when is sine 0? So the graph tells me the sine is 0 at, sine 0 at 0, then you have a 0 at 180, and then at 360. So just by looking at the graph, I can say that x, ha x is 0, or sine x is 0, when x is, uh, when x is equal to 0, then x is 180, and when x is 360. So you got three solutions here. Now what will happen here? Let me bring back. So this is 2 times sine x uh, is equal to negative 1. So sine x is negative half. Okay. So when is sine negative half? Okay. So yeah. Uh, let me draw the graph first. So let me use, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis, this is your maximum, and minimum. If, when you draw the graph, sine graph, you tend to understand what's happening. So this is 0, 0. So this is 90, 180, 270, 360. So sine, let me use green now. So this is again 0, 0. So you're thinking about negative half. OK, so the graph goes like this. I hope you understand. So your negative half, suppose, 
uh, this is your half, this is 1, this is negative 1, and this is negative half. So, if you press sine inverse, x is of course sine inverse of negative half. So, we're looking at these two values of x. So, this is where negative half, okay, so this is what we're looking at, and the other value is this value. Okay, so yeah, if this is half, think logically. Now, if it goes this and this are symmetrical, okay. So yeah, if you go, uh, okay, let us use the calculator. So sine, okay, without the calc, let me do without the calculator. So I know that sine x, uh, if sine x is half, x has to be 30 degree because I know that sine 30 is half. Okay, so this is one knowledge that I have. So let me see my setting whether it's in degrees. Yeah, it's in degrees. So I'll go sine 30 is half. Okay, so this by logic or by symmetry, if this is 30 degree, if this is 30 degree, this is 180 plus 30 which should be, this is a 180 degree, and this is symmetrical, so this has to be 210 degrees, that's my guess. So this is 30 away from 180, and this would be 30 away from 360, so this should be 300. Okay, now on the calculator, well, you say x is sine inverse of negative half. So what will the calculator tell me? So let's see, so you go shift sine, of negative 0 0.5. What is the answer? The answer is minus 30 degrees. So minus 30 degree is this is nothing. This is this is nothing but 360. So minus 30 degree means you're going anticlockwise. Okay. So minus 30 is same as 330 degrees. Sorry, I should have written here 330, not 300. Sorry. So 30 away from this would be 330. So 330 and minus 30 are the same thing, okay? So let me show you that. So sine 330 is one number, negative half, and sine of negative 30 would also be negative half. So 330 is clockwise, and three minus 30 is anticlockwise. Or even if you use symmetry, you can understand this is 30 degrees, so this is 30 away from zero. So you have to have this is 30 away from this, not drawn to scale. So this is 30 away from 180, which is 210, and 30 away from 360, that is 330. So you have got from this, you can say x is one case, it's 210 degrees, and this is 330. So all the values of x that we have is zero, 180, uh, then you've got 210, so let's write in an order, so that is 330 degree and 360 degree. Okay, so let us now confirm the answer on the calculator. So what was the equation? So you go to uh, menu and graph, okay, menu and graph. So this is only to check the answer, of course the calculator will give you all these answers, but until you know how to do it, so I'll type in bracket sine x squared like this. Sorry, this is two sine, so two bracket uh, sine x squared plus sine x. Okay. And then graph it. Okay, so let me change the setting. Yeah, that's fine, 0 to 360. And uh, this is an awkward graph, okay? So I want to say when is x zero. Okay, so these are the values I want, okay? So you go g solve and x calc when y is zero. So one is zero, the next is 180 degree, okay? The next is 210, the next is 330, and finally it is 360. So these are the five values by solving by factorize it.